Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Store dry ice in a cooler with the loosely closed. Never use an airtight container. The buildup of carbon dioxide gases as the dry ice subliminates could cause the container to burst. Keep the cooler in the coolest, most well-ventilated area possible. Never store dry ice in your freezer. Take our lead. At minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, dry ice can replace the cooling power of a refrigerator or freezer. During a power outage, place dry ice on the top shelf of the freezer and the bottom shelf of the refrigerator. Less dry ice will be needed for the refrigerator since the food will not have to be frozen. Make your mark, take our lead. Q. Can I save dry ice in my freezer? A. No. Dry ice turns to a gas at minus 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So even a freezer will be far too warm to prevent that from happening. And dry ice should never be kept in a walk-in freezer, because it produces carbon dioxide that can be hazardous in poorly ventilated areas. Take our lead. How much does dry ice cost? Dry ice is generally priced by weight, but the exact cost varies from one retailer to the next. On average, the price ranges between $1 to $3 per pound. Some retailers also offer discounts on bulk purchases. Make your mark, take our lead. How do I dispose of dry ice? Because dry ice can cause carbon dioxide gas to accumulate and build up pressure, do not dispose of dry ice in a sewer, garbage disposal, garbage chute, etc. Allow leftover dry ice to melt and turn into gas in a well-ventilated area. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.